Over two weeks ago, a group of 60 students marched through Trinity and through 10th Stand and demanded that their college end its complicity in the genocide of the Palestinian people. <laughs> The BDS campaign within Trinity had, didn't just last for those five days. It's lasted for over a decade with staff and students begging its institution to recognize the part that it plays in that genocide, in the occupation. Trinity had ties to 13 Israeli institutions, invested thousands of euro into Israeli companies, and when our staff and students saw that their so-called neutrality was worthless and that it was cowardice. We, we stayed day and night demanding our college that it end its complicity. We vowed that we would not leave until our demands were met. And in those five days, Trinity College went from saying nothing, from being neutral, to completely divesting from Israel. Trinity College went from the absolutely disgusting line that, oh, academics should choose, should have the choice to work with Israeli institutions, as if those Israeli institutions are not directly complicit in the murder of Palestinians. They went from that to completely reviewing their ties with Israel. <laughs> Since the encampment, encampments have set up all across this country, we've had universities and colleges across this country and across the world reaching out to us, asking us for advice of how we set up. When we left after those five days, we knew that it only had just begun because, because this win that we achieved is yes, a win for the students, but it's also a win for every single person that demands a free Palestine. In the past few days, we've had the Israeli embassy shun us, calling us violent and obstructive, as if they have any grounds to stand on for calling a protest demanding for humanity violent and obstructive. <laughs> We have had politicians in the EPP describing us also as violent, just urging Ireland to not continue Trinity's down, to, not, to stop Trinity from going down its dark path, as if the EPP has, has any ground to stand on when they let refugees drown in the Mediterranean. We. We are on the right side of history because we are on the side of humanity. We will not listen to those that wish to stamp out attempts for the for Palestinian liberation because they have hatred in their heart. They do, we are demanding justice in every sense of the word for Palestinian people. And it is so important that from this win that Trinity College has and that colleges across the country have, have gained, that you take that win and you take that hope and you use it in every single area of your lives. That, eh, Every bit of influence you have, you take that hope and you throw it at them and you demand that every area of Irish life and every area of life that you come across is not complicit in the genocide of Palestinians. <laughs> have only just begun. We will keep fighting to make sure that Trinity keeps up its plans, that Trinity completely divests and never invests a single cent again. We will make sure that all universities across this island divest from Israel and cut all ties and, and, and to keep legitimizing the Zionist apartheid state. We will not rest until that's over. <laughs> As students, there's so many students that took part. We have uh, Isabel, the chair of CTD BDS here, who helped organize the encampment. We have so many students all across the island, and we will not stop until Palestine is free. Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! Yeah!